Oh yeah. This is Michael Gillen Peckett from Kingston upon Hull, England. I've been away from my blog for quite a while. We can just read it, well, almost a month now actually. And I uh, wanted to update it. And I found someone I really wanted to put my little tick against. I really like this person a great deal. I like the stuff she does. The person's name is Judith Karaguchi. Now I know her, in fact I've met her on one occasion when uh, she and her husband Morosuke Karaguchi came to the Japan Society in London. But Judith Karaguchi, amongst uh, being an NHK re reporter, anyone who watches NHK World TV like I do she, from Journeys in Japan, but she also writes for the Japan Times and a, a review article called Words to Live By. And uh, it's a really cool article. In, in the UK we have a similar thing, the, the Sunday supplements. And I think it's the one of the, uh, either the Times or the Telegraph calls it uh, the life in a day of. Not not the day in the life, but life in a day of. And it's a it's a very very good way of doing journalism. Just forget any deep inter any deep interview by interrogating. Simply ask the person the question. Whatever it is, if you ask nicely, I found, and not that this doesn't apply to journalism, it applies to every kind of way of life. You often get a truthful answer. You don't need to say, is it true? No. Instead, why don't you just ask, what are you doing? And slowly bring them to it. To, to what you want to talk about. Works much better. Anyway, so this is a small plea to the, to, uh, the, the whole world of journalism, a world I, I'd hope to enter in some day, to say that this, this lady, Judy Karaguchi, she to get her own show, in my view. I'll give you an example of just why this method works. If you're outside of Britain, you're probably not aware of this interview, but there was an interview between former Prime Minister Tony Blair and uh, a woman called Fern Britton. Fern Britton was the uh, co-interviewer -interview of a daytime TV show. She resigned from that. And she interviewed the foreign prime minister, and at one at one point during this interview, she said, uh, "I forget the exact question, but she asked her, uh, would you have done anything differently had you had known about there not being weapons in Iraq?'" And the prime minister then answered, in effect, "Of course, I would think things through differently." That might sound like a small thing. But it was a big admission, it had never been made before. And this is the reason that I like the work that Judy Karaguchi does. It's very, very good interviews. Very, very well, information very well sought out by simply, firstly, never being nasty, and but being very careful with one's questions. Anyway. This may sound very sycophantic, I just think that she's brilliant. And if anyone from Japan Times, or The Guardian, or Independent, or The Telegraph, or The Times, anyone, anywhere in the world, this one needs a larger slot. There, I've said it. With that, my wife is coming back to Britain from Japan for a month, to the day after tomorrow. Saturday, actually, so with tomorrow still kind of on the edge of Friday here, so uh, look forward to seeing you all soon, and hope you enjoy this little message. Bye.